Welcome to Finn, and I'm here today at the Jitex Technology Show in Dubai, in the Dubai World Trade Center. I'm on the RTA stand, and I'm in the Volocopter, which is the autonomous air taxi, coming soon to Dubai. We now have Khalid from the RTA. Welcome to, uh, to Finn. Thank you, you're welcome. In April 2016, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum announced the strategy of the 2030. This is strategy aims in transforming 25% of the personal trips by year 2030 using the autonomous mode. So since uh, th that time, RTA is working uh, as an enabler for this strategy in the city on different plans uh, to make this a transformation happen. So uh, the, the aim of this strategy that would be having, uh, they would be continuing the growth with the metro, which is already autonomous, but also will be introducing the autonomous taxi, the autonomous tram, the autonomous bus, and uh, other transportation mode that would be going autonomous. Um, but we also think out of the box, where also we, we would be, uh, uh, should consider a new transportation mode in the city. So one of them was the AAT or the autonomous aerial taxi. So in this project, we worked with a German company which uh, called Volocopter. This is the Volocopter uh, 2X model, which can accommodate two passengers, uh, as we, we can see. And uh, uh, the, the vehicle is uh, uh, fully electric with the capability of self-driving, means no pilot or a driver would be on board. This is a, a fully autonomous where it can be programmed based on a predetermined route on GPS navigation system. And talk to me about the, uh, the tech here. How many rotors, what sort of power and how long? Yeah, uh, it's uh, fully electric uh, with 18 motors uh, and uh, uh, the, the full battery capacity uh, can be charged in two hours. And uh, currently this model lasts for 30 minutes, can go up to 27 kilometer uh, with an average speed of around 50 kilometer per hour. So uh, at the moment you're in the testing process. Uh, what's the roadmap look like to this becoming into service and uh, what sort of uh, year? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, this has been integrated by uh, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, the Crown Prince of Dubai, and uh, we already announced um, a five-year plan where we'll be working on the legislation, on the policies, on the infrastructures, and also on the locations of the stations and routes and all these things that would be required to enable this. One of the important things, definitely the evolution of the helicopter to be uh, suited also for the Dubai uh, environment. So this is also would be, uh, a, a lots of testing would be happening. Uh, also uh, we'll be, we'll be introducing uh, different uh, uh, modification to the system of the helicopter, like for example, the aircon and, and other things that will be also uh, making sure that the helicopter is suitable for the Dubai environment. Khalid, thank you very much indeed. Now, for everything to do, of course, with aviation and the news around the industry, head to wearefin.com.